It's the world's longest nonstop river race. It starts in Kansas City and goes to St. Charles, Missouri, 340 miles on the Missouri River. Uh, there's eight checkpoints between here and there that racers have to meet time deadlines at. Uh, the, the fastest racers are going to finish this in 36 hours. They're going to paddle night and day straight through all the way to St. Charles. Uh, we allow up to 88 hours for a finish, so some racers will have a more relaxed pace, but a very grueling, difficult race all the way around. It's half hobby, half competition. It's, it's not full commitment, so. Uh, but still, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of hours spent uh, in the seat, so to speak. Oh, I used to be in the Marine Corps. I just thought I'd give it a go and see if I could make it to the end. <laughs> and uh, in terms of what, what attracts you to the river? Oh, I just love rivers, lakes, rivers. It doesn't matter. As soon as I get out of the city, I like it a lot more. <laughs> I have been wanting to do it for like five years, and I never could find anybody that would do it with me. And, as, and then a bunch of my friends are doing it today, and I had a baby in December, and they all talked to me into it, and then all but one of them bailed. What type of training did you go through to get ready for it? Uh, not enough, probably, but <laughs> just some flat water lake training, and uh, we did a 63-mile race a month and a half ago, and uh, just a little bit of river run, so... Originally, this, this year's race was scheduled for July 8th through 11th. Uh, we had a very wet spring and early summer, and so the river was actually too high for us to go then. Uh, if the water gets up into the tree line, we can't race because, as you can imagine, paddlers in the dark at night have no way to exit the river. So if we had a storm or something like that, it would be a disaster. So we have to have shoreline, and uh, so the river's nine feet lower than it was July 8th. And uh, so conditions are really perfect right now. Uh, the weather's going to actually be so beautiful. Um, highs today, I think, of 80 or something like that. The lows tonight into the upper 50s. So uh, tonight our safety boats are going to get phone calls from, from paddlers and crews. And it's going to be because, you know, usually we have, we're dealing with heat stroke. This year I think we're going to be dealing with some hypothermic paddlers at night. I can't complain about it. I was afraid it was going to be 120 when we got out here today. <laughs> Had to pack some sweatshirts just in case. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can't beat it. This is uh, amazing. Uh, I was out here uh, the year that we had 107 degrees, and so, you know, that was miserable. This is wonderful. <laughs> well, I think it's popularity, and it's the, it's the best attended race of its kind in the, in the world. Um, it's because we have this great river right here in the, in the heartland, and it's a, it's a great river for a race like this. It's very paddler friendly and there's sandbars and islands on which they can stop and take breaks and rest. So it's a, it's a natural race course for a race of this length and duration. Oh, once, like I said, once I get away from Kansas City, it's just the scenery, the trees, the farmland, everything you see when you're going through. It's, everyone thinks it's dangerous, but it's awful peaceful out there. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun being out on the No, water. this requires months of preparation on behalf of their paddlers, and many of them have been training since the last race ended, in effect. So uh, it's a commitment from the whole family to do a race like this. Uh, it's not the kind of thing you can just borrow your buddy's canoe and show up here and do it. But that said, um, we have a lot of novice paddlers who finish very successfully because they've put in the hours to get ready for it. So why, why do, what, what's the role that Brown Crew what do you guys have to do? We chase them down the river and give them food. <laughs> yeah. Clean make out sure. their canoes and tell them to hurry up. Make sure they have everything they need and make sure they're well supplied and well rested, basically. They didn't think that they could do it necessarily or they weren't confident that they could do it, but it was a dream that they had and they just decided to, to do it, take action on it. Marathon type kayaking I like is a challenge and this race is uh, the longest nonstop in the world. The challenge is, is uh, hard to pass up.